Hey guys, it's Carl here again from Laser Plumbing for Nuapai. In this video today, we're just going to show you how to isolate your water if you get a leak in some part of your house. In this situation, if you, for instance, you get a leak on your filter tap or your dishwasher, we can come under the sink and normally isolate it so you don't have to call someone out then and there. So if you come down here, as you can see, We've got the filter and the dishwasher equipment going down here. Now, if we follow the pipes from the dishwasher up, we can see we've got a valve here, which is actually already turned off. But in this position, it's currently on. If we put it to the side, essentially putting a fence across here, stopping any water going down. Now that's isolated, the leak in the dishwasher will stop. Okay. If it's your pipework inside the walls or somewhere you can't isolate, we have two options, either shut the whole system down, that's both cold and hot, or if it's just on the hot side, we can actually just shut that off so you can still use your toilets, get cold water, things like that. I'll move across to the hot water cylinder cabinet and then we can show you how to start turning off the hot water. So now we're at the hot water cylinder, I can show you how to isolate just the hot water supply in the house in case it is only on a hot pipe. So if you come down here, we've got two valves we want to play with. First off, the valve that goes into the bottom of the cylinder. If you do have a valve here and you can isolate it, turn it off. Now if you follow that pipe along, we'll come to a valve that looks something, a little something like this. Don't worry too much about if it looks the same or not, but we want to go to further on, in which case we can turn that valve off. Now no water is going from here to any of this pipe work, nor can it go into the cylinder. In this situation it's completely fine to leave it like this. If you can't get to some of your valves, and you can only turn one off for instance, or you can't get to any of them, I would suggest you follow the cable from the element and isolate it. This is to protect your hot water cylinder element in case the cylinder does drain itself down. What we'll do now is we'll go down to the water meter and I'll show you how to identify your one and shut that off. Alright, so now we're at the front of the building, I'm going to show you how to turn off your water main. So if you come over here, it's normally in a steel box or a plastic box. The plastic black ones say water meter on them. Um, this one's pretty obvious. Open the hatch, there's a whole lot of valves. Um, as you can see, we've got quite a few to choose from and we don't want to be turning the wrong one off. Believe me, having the next door neighbor running after you naked while she's in the shower is not ideal. What I've done, I've left a tap on inside and that way we can identify what one's moving and that's the one we can turn off. So if you come down here, as you can see, all of these are stationary except the one that I've left the tap on. Now this is obviously my one. If there's a few of them all operating, what you can do is get someone inside to turn it on for 30 seconds, turn it off for 30 seconds, turn it on for 30 seconds. That way you can identify. So it's just turn it clockwise. What do they say? Lefty loosey, righty tighty. And there we go. It's shut off. Now when you go to turn it back on, if you turn it back on, you want to open it completely up right the way until it stops and then come back half a turn and you're all set hope this helps have a good day